how good is it with like like children are not mm -hmm. predictable yeah. or they think that they're seen when they're not seen mm -hmm. so it we could try that out over in this parking lot. You want me to walk around? And yeah. <laughs> How'd you know I was going to say yes? <laughs> well, it probably wouldn't hit a guy with a cane, right? <laughs> so Probably not. <laughs> a cane can hit that. See Tesla full self-driving through fresh eyes. From city streets to tons of neighborhood roundabouts and using Auto Park to park itself. My passengers ask the questions most first-timers have and watch it handle everything in real time. So this is going along right with the flow of traffic around it. It's, mm -hmm. it's, and very smooth. Mm -hmm. Now, do you feel like it's a robot driving or does it feel like a human, like from a passenger's perspective? That's a good question. The it feels like a a driver who is just going along actually with the flow of the other cars. Mm -hmm. So it feels human like, like not robotic to you. Yeah, it feels like a good driver. Mm -hmm. Some humans, it feels much better than. <laughs> Do you feel safe? Now that I would that requires a different kind of thinking. I'd be going, oh, what thing does it not notice? So you're, you're, you're still, uh, See, look, oh, 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 look at that, look how safe that is. Mm -hmm. Not for this guy, though. Oh, this guy. Oh, oh so my God. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah. It, uh, oh, your car, that was, it knew to... It left a space for mm -hmm. a guy to make a left turn. It, it didn't block. Anyway. It was an open Don't intersection. thank me, thank the car. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that either. <laughs> I would not have done that. Too bad, buddy. <laughs> You're lucky. It's FSD driving. Yeah, it's, uh, that's all, I know I've already said that twice. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. The people, most of the time, are not quite as smooth. You know, the, some car, they'll come up a little faster on and stop, and then yes, the next yeah. one, they will... It varies. Yeah. This doesn't seem to vary. Yeah, right. That's a really good point. Yeah, it's pretty consistent. Those variable speeds, you know, that where you can plus or minus type thing, I'm guessing that's for, like, if you're on the freeway, you know, and it's supposed to be you know, 65 miles an hour, but everybody's going 75, yeah. you want to adjust it to the flow of traffic, mm -hmm. so it's probably gauging it on the flow of traffic as well. Mm -hmm. And here's another interesting thing. So with FSD 14, you know, I had mentioned they have sloth mode and then they still have chill, standard and hurry. They take away the offset. So we don't have uh, the ability to change the speed anymore. So I'm not sure how I'll feel about that. I mean, we'll have to try it, but I guess those four driving profiles are supposed to be even more intuitive that you don't need to think about you oh, know how you want the speed adjusted hmm. manually but you could still hit the accelerator if you yeah, wanted to yeah i think so yeah Does but if, it, you, if you were to hit the brake mm -hmm. would it take you out of the mm -hmm. self-drive mode yeah okay. i think that that stays and one thing that i like is like for me i tend to drive I used to always drive in hurry mode, but now I've, I've gone down to standard. When I'm on the freeway, sometimes it's a little too fast, so I want to go to chill, but there's just so many buttons to push, and you know, I know that the car's driving, but I still don't like looking away um, to, to go to chill mode on the menu. So with the new update, you could just use your scroll wheel, and instead of adjusting, so right now I actually didn't show you, so I could adjust the speed right there. Oh, so I have 40 max. I can scroll it down to 38. Oh, wow. I can scroll it back up. So since they're taking that away, I can just scroll between the different driving profiles. Oh, so from standard, I could just click down to chill, click down to sloth. So I could just do those adjustments a little bit easier. So I think that'll be really interesting because I, I tend to like standard or hurry when I'm on the surface streets, but on the freeway, um, I would like to do chill, but I put it on standard because 
when it, when it's on chill mode, it's really obsessed with being in the right hand lane. Oh. And that's not chill to me because you're yeah. always adjusting for all the merging vehicles. Right. Um, when you put it on hurry, it gets obsessed with staying in the left lane. When you're on standard, then you get the, the middle lanes. So okay. I would like to be in the middle lane, but go a little bit slower. Not slower, but just have more distance between me and the car in front of me. Um, so I'm hoping that, you know, the, the, the new driver profiles will kind of... I wonder if he'll ever do a, a voice control where you just go chill mode and it goes into it. Maybe. Um, oh, yeah, because I don't think it works right now. I've tried it before, but <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be a really good idea. Is he going to see that little Ooh, bump? Uh, a little baby. That's another thing. Does it see bumps that you need to go slow over? Like where you don't. I feel like sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Like this one here. Yeah. You can see a lot of people hit that one. Yes. So they have a stop that way. Now we go to a roundabout. What about, so there are some neighborhoods, like in Los Alamitos, the neighborhood there, that there's no stop sign either way. Yes, I agree. We should so, we should test it there oh, sometime. Oh, that that roundabout? I thought That's about a roundabout. that. That's a roundabout. And we got another one. Now, do they have a stop on the other end, on the other side? They do. We don't. We don't, yeah. So it knows that. You could try going from the other direction and see how it does. Yeah. So I was manual driving on one of these streets, as I mentioned, because FSC was routing me on a, one of the larger streets. And I... I actually blew through one of the stop signs because <laughs> I got all confused and I was like, ah, oh, I am a worse driver than my car. <laughs> did, it, uh, did it alarm you at all? No. Oh, okay. But, you know, people stared at me and let me know that I did something wrong. <laughs> now we have a so yield, here's yield and there's cars in it. So let's see what it does. So everyone has a yield. Four-way yield. All right. And that, yeah, it did it right. It did it. So there were three good. other cars and it did it right. Very good. My my understanding of a roundabout is if a car's already in it, you yield to them and then otherwise it you know, you can go into it and they're supposed to yield to you if you're already in it. Mm -hmm. It's doing it. And this one has a stop no sign going yield. the other way. That's pretty it's interesting. Some neat houses in here. Isn't this around where that, the lawyer that used to be yeah, in your yeah. Viking club? Yes. Now we have to yield on this one. I need this. It was a busy yeah. street. Yeah. It's like I have about four different levels. I wish I had kept a list of all the things that I was really surprised that it could do. There's a, mm. you know, I... It's interesting how it slowed down right there. I don't know if it was because of the dip. That's good. Was it the dip or the, the vision? I wonder. How does... Yeah, does so it see those know. skeletons? Yeah. If, I were, <laughs> if I were... If, you know, I had that self-drive and with my limited walking ability if I was to go to Costco and could it drop me off at the front exit and then I'd say okay go park yourself Can that's do that? a really good question so that's going to be another feature coming up called banish so summon <laughs> means you summon it to you yeah it's banish already means parked it drops so you, you off and then it goes away and parks itself. do you pick the spot like let's say for banish yes well i don't know because it's it's not out yet but oh, i think okay. that oh. <laughs> yeah I, I don't know right. i mean that's a good question because i wonder if you can be like i don't want to park near the front with other cars i want to be parked in the back i don't know if you'll be able to have so that then you're setting. telling it not only to drop me off and go park yourself but go park yourself the furthest out there must <laughs> yeah. be yeah okay and so i, I think it should and then you yeah. summon it when you're 
And I think there's also, there's some people online who are saying, you know, can it recognize handicap, you know, so to not park in a handicap spot if that's close or to oh. park in one if you have. If I have a sticker. Yeah, exactly. But if you could summon it, you wouldn't have a need for yeah, it to park Yeah, you know there. what, uh, you, I don't think you'd be allowed to park in the handicap if you're not, if you, if your car leaves you to go park in there because you don't need it. Yeah, mm. that's what I would, it's for when you need it. I'm having a. Oh my god! <laughs> that oh, always scares me up. every time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, That's so, about so like that. Close. It, you can see. Can okay. See well, that makes yeah. me feel better because I can't see, and I'm just hoping and wishing. Now, will it please see this little boy? Go ahead. Go. 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 He's so little. Kid, oh, is it? Is there a circle around where he is, or? You just no. see him. There he is. Oh, why am I going to the left? Oh, where are Which we going? way are we going? Oh, but yeah, to I the rowing center. I thought I we were going to go that way, no? No, I think it's the right way. This oh, way. yeah, because we have, you're right, because we have to go up. That yeah. was interesting. So that we, we had a little boy cross in front of the car, mm -hmm. and, and you waved him on, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, just because I knew the car would stop. What's Sometimes I'm just place? sitting there wondering. <laughs> What's the name of this place? That's this restaurant? So many owners. Ubuntu. Ubuntu. So Ubuntu. is it waiting for those kids? I, I guess. think so. There's kids on bikes. Yeah, because right here it's, it's showing all the bikes, and now it's like, yeah. okay. It's just waiting to see if they're going to go. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Well, that's, that's something we haven't experienced. Or I haven't with you is how good is it with like like children are not mm -hmm. predictable yeah. or they think that they're seen when they're not seen mm -hmm. so it we could try that out over in this parking lot <laughs> you want me to walk around and yeah <laughs> how'd you know i was gonna say yes <laughs> well it probably wouldn't hit a guy with a cane right <laughs> so probably not <laughs> the cane can hit back is, is it <laughs> Or does it keep points for... <laughs> you know what, that Ubuntu would have been a good parking lot to try auto park. I don't know why I didn't think about it. Because there would have been, you know, more cars around yeah, it. They, yeah, it seemed like there was a big parking lot. Yeah, there. we'll find another one later. Here's a busy roundabout. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this one. Sometimes can... my wheels do nick the center thing. That's that part is fine though. They're if it's like that. Yeah, at one. least it's more you know gradual, but I still think it shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> what is? Oh, okay. Well, going around. Yeah, see, it's interesting. Would your car, if there's trash in the road, and then somebody else goes around it? That's a good question. Will it see that and then? Well, that was an issue with the earlier FSD versions that I didn't have. Um, they had uh, what was called phantom braking. So it would just like break for every shadow and break for plastic bags, which was actually quite dangerous. You know, if you're going kind of a high speed, someone's going to, uh, oh. you know, rear you. Did it, did it know that there happening. was a bump? It slowed down. Yeah, it slowed but, down. And, but it's interesting. It's not following suit where this other car went, like into another lane to avoid it. No, it's, it's seeing this down. bump See? though. It just it slowed yeah. down for yeah. it, and now it's very good. Now it's accelerating yeah. past it. You don't lose your dentures. Hmm. So yeah, with the braking, I think that one's kind of challenging um, because yeah, there was it was overly braking in the past, and then I watched a video recently of some guys doing a you know coast to coast road trip and they were just flying down some freeway in the desert and they hit some big like metal something or other that fell off some other truck um and they kind of like they kind of were airborne there for a second wow. and you know so they were approaching and they're like oh is that roadkill and as they got closer they realized it was a big chunk of metal oh. um and the car didn't stop for that so so I think those are kind of those edge cases that are a little bit tricky. Like you don't want it to break for everything, but you want it to break for things that, you know, could damage your vehicle or hurt you. But then how is a camera supposed to know the difference? So I guess that's where it just needs further training. 
some places where a tumbleweed would blow in front. You yeah. don't want it to stop. Right, right. And uh, snow, if you live in a snowy mm -hmm. climate and it's snowing. Roundabout. It's doing the roundabouts just fine. Mm -hmm. We've done more roundabouts than I usually would do in two weeks. It does the traffic circle way better than I do. It goes in the inside lanes. And I'm it? like, ah, like I would never do that. And because I just don't like changing lanes within it, and it, it'll do it, and it does it really confidently. But we haven't had someone who did a left turn in the roundabout where they're going to turn, go around in front of us. Mm -hmm. We didn't have that. There's, or did we that one time? Maybe we did on one of them. Or if you're in the outside lane and you're going to keep going around, but they go like they're not supposed yeah. to and go to the right. Oh, you're thinking like the traffic circle. The tra uh, yeah, I'm thinking of the traffic circle. Yeah, sorry. I like that there's lane lines in it now. What do you guys think? I was used. Well, I was used to the old way. Me uh -huh. too. Yeah. Um, so I, it's probably I, harder for the people who are used to it. But the first time that you come to it and see all those signs, I don't think anybody the first time is going to have a clue what those signs mean, unless they are stopped there. Signs from wait. What's happening? He stopped. I don't it. even have the right of way. No, okay, but good. He, my he car was, knew. He was. She was stopping though. She yeah. was thinking you. She had to stop. Either right? she, either she, or she was waiting for that other car. Yeah. But that other car was way far away. Yeah. At least my car didn't go. I think it kind of gives room to the jogger. That's pretty good. It sees people well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if someone had their car open and they were standing there, you see it on the little display. So it's seen these bumps, uh, even when uh, there was one that didn't have the painted lines oh, on it, mm -hmm. and it spotted it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a good point. It, I feel like it sees bumps, but when it's a dip, I'm not always slowing down going through a dip, so I don't know if it doesn't see it or if it just doesn't think it's important to slow down. <laughs> this will be a good auto park spot, actually. Now, why is it not okay. going around this? Well, because it, it thinks we've arrived at our destination. Oh, okay. Or actually, look, it is going to go around. But it's be, it's being hesitant. Oh, it was <laughs> investigating. Yeah, it's like, is that car driving or is it parked? And I think it's going to drop us off right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. All right, no. See, so, yeah. It's like, hey, I That's brought you here. That's pretty good. All right, so now I'm going to manual drive over here. Park it. And let's try parking. Just, now, they'll show on here the parking spots and she just picks the one. Yeah, oh my gosh, really look cool. at that. Here, I'll let Steve pick one. Oh. You can pick on the screen right here. Any here of these we'll of that the have like view. the little. <laughs> oh, really? Like yeah. where it has the little mat thing on mm -hmm. there? Yeah. This one? Oh, yeah, you could do that. Okay, and then press start. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, this guy's gonna. Oh, it's gonna go on this one. So the interesting thing is, it always yeah, there's a lady does backing. Yeah. Is so you let's see. That? And that car's backing up. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It's Caesar. It does. It's Caesar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, I got one. See, because it showed red. Should you yell out the window to these people that hey, we're on the FSD? Like, sorry, I'm not oh, driving. Man, I would not have parked in this little teeny tiny spot. Oh, there's a person there. See, oh, yeah, see? It's stopping. Yeah. Okay. Don't go in the water. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. So it always does back in parking. So with the new FSD 14, I'm seeing videos of it doing front parking too, which is better because it's faster. So sometimes with the auto park, you know, doing the three point turn to back in, sometimes people are just kind of waiting for you. <laughs> and they're like, why are you doing that? Um, so I, I like that they have the option of the front end parking now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If this helped you understand FSD a little better, please like, subscribe, and share. In the next video, we'll test summon and even walk in front of the car. 
We'll see who survives. See you soon.